Now I get a lot of people asking me how do I actually identify the hashtags that I should be using on LinkedIn. So there's not any third party tools yet which you can use to identify hashtags. So there are other hashtag tools which you can use for other platforms and then take the information and apply it to LinkedIn. But right now the, your best bet is to be using LinkedIn's own search bar. So all you need to do is you go into the top of your LinkedIn homepage and you type in the search bar. So what you would do, just type in any hashtag you're thinking of using. So let's, for example, use hashtag social media. So as you can see, when you click on this hashtag, you're going to be able to see how many posts there are for this hashtag. And you're going to be able to see how many people follow the hashtag. Now, if you compare this to a more niche term, which would be, for example, hashtag social media marketing, this is more of a specialized term. Social media is more broad and it's bigger, whereas social media marketing is perhaps more the service of offering marketing for social media. So as you can see here, there's quite a difference in terms of how many people follow the hashtag how much content's going out for the hashtag, which you can see by toggling the top and the recent views here. So for example, top is the top post right now for this hashtag, and then recent is your just your constant stream of people using that hashtag. My background is in social media strategy, and I've worked with businesses and brands doing exactly this, you know, going really deep into things like hashtags. So I know from my own experience, in comparison to other platforms, these numbers aren't as big. So even though this number for hashtag social media might seem quite big to you, in the grand scheme of things, and in, in terms of how many people are actually searching it, it's, you know, it's sufficient. Whereas social media marketing is perhaps too niche right now. So I would be using the bigger hashtags right now to have more confidence that your hashtags are effective and being seen by more people who hopefully identify and see that content as being relevant. Another great thing about hashtags is if you're not sure on what sort of content to create, for example, you can look through this feed and see what sort of content the businesses and personal brands are actually creating. That in terms of competition, hashtags aren't saturated yet on LinkedIn as they are on Instagram. We don't really need to get too technical about using them right now, and it's better you go bigger. So for example, let's on LinkedIn, let's take personal branding video tips as a hashtag. That's ultra niche. So if you're a video agency and you help people with their personal brand, that you would say that anyone who follows this hashtag is definitely your target audience. But as you can see, it's just not worth searching because not enough people are creating content on LinkedIn yet or using it as a platform to search for content. So it really is about competition and search volume. The sweet spot is to be using a hashtag that has high search volume and low competition. And in contrast, if a hashtag had really high competition, so a lot of people were using it, but not many people were searching for it, it had low search volume, then it's not really useful to use. So when you do create content, LinkedIn do suggest hashtags to you. Sometimes it's a good suggestion, other times it's not. So what I would do is always just double check the hashtags you're using, look through the feed and just get a general feel but whether it's a useful hashtag to use.